Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of our F1 career mode here on the channel. We have round four coming your way as unfortunately we had some mishaps with upgrades last episode. We get them this episode into the car coming into this Japanese Grand Prix. On top of that we start development of some more upgrades as well. Unfortunately Coming into Suzuka, you can see we're still at the bottom of the R&D behind V-Carb and uh, Kick Sauber as well. As we come through into free practice one on Friday, this track, of course, uh, loved by Sebastian Vettel, of course, my uh, all-time favorite F1 driver, hoping to kind of channel that Seb energy at one point in our career at this circuit as we get ready to roll here from Suzuka for the Japanese Grand Prix weekend. All right, boys, I'm excited for this one. Uh, let's have a strong weekend. Good luck this weekend, Gary and team. It will be a tough one. We just need to wait on some more upgrades. And you hear the message uh, from myself and as well our team principal, James Vowles, now as we get underway here in FP1. So uh, we have, as a team, yet to make it into Q2 this season. We're hoping that maybe Albon or myself can change that today coming into this weekend. I don't really pay attention to head-to-head -to -head when it comes to qualifying because at the end of the day, I don't care. The race is what matters. Albon is 2-1 to one compared to myself head-to-head uh, -head in race performances now. Uh, so the only time we actually have beat him was when he DNF'd in Bahrain. So hopefully today we can beat him straight up. That is the goal here. Just straight up beat Alex Albon on track uh, and see what we can do now, of course. And, and let the rest of the performance kind of write itself into history now. As we come through to the end of the third lap of the race program here in FP1. And I was overall relatively happy you can see there was definitely a a little bit of a struggle for grip albon went p9 and fp1 on the medium compound tire with verstappen and norris piastri your top three myself in 18th with ricardo and casper ackerman at the bottom of the grid formula 2 off this weekend as well by the way so nothing to pay attention to there but oliver bearman did win the second round in jetta uh and in melbourne it was actually mercedes up and coming prospect Aiden Jackson that picked up his first win in Formula 2 in his first season, which was quite impressive there. As we come through into Q number 1 now, and like I said, the goal, try to get one of our cars into Q2. Can we finally do it? I was finding a pretty decent comfortability around the circuit throughout this weekend. This was the first episode recording on my new pedals that I just got, uh, so I was trying to adapt to my new brake pedal. I got the Thrustmaster T3PMs, and the brake pedal is really hard to push down compared to my previous Thrustmaster T3PA pedals now. Uh, everything else I run is Moza shifter on the, uh, you can see on the camera there, and then the wheel and the wheelbase it's the FSR wheel, the Formula wheel, uh, with the R12 base, uh, if you were wondering. Not sponsored, by the way. Nonetheless, we come through to our last lap in Q1, and Albon's 15th, first one in. We're the first one out in P16, but we were immediately finding time. Who didn't find time? was Albon. He did not improve and now we're down to 16th and 17th but we're finding major gains. We found 6 tenths of a second. Hulkenberg splits us for P17. We're down to 18th but we might have enough to make it into Q2. Albon's not going to make it but hold on. We round the final couple of corners. Get through that final chicane. The long sweeping right hander hard on the throttle. Open that rear wing for a few seconds to the line. It's enough. We make it P10. We are for the first time this season putting a Williams through into Q2. Bontas will be P16 in the uh, Sip Sauber kick. Uh, Albon 17th, Hulkenberg, Ricardo, and Sonoda in his home Grand Prix. Unfortunately, will line up at the back of the grid. Q2 underway. We only have one fresh set of soft compound tires to work with, and I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I, I didn't think we were going to go P10 again, that's for sure, but I do believe we have the capabilities of maybe beating Casper Ackerman, uh, as well as our fellow Rookie of the Year competitor, Devin Butler. I think we can beat him in the kick sauber now as we round the long sweeping left-hander hard on that throttle. Use up the curbs on the right side a little bit here through 130R, and on the run towards that final chicane, the timing was looking pretty Pretty competitive as we hit the curb, hit the apexes on both corners there. Fairly happy with this lap. It was a one and done. Open the rear wing to the line and it's going to be P13. Very happy with that. 13th mate, great stuff. Let's keep it up boys. Great day. Our best qualifying effort, Ocon is the first one out at Alpine. Gasly makes a top 10. Lance Stroll P15. What happened there with the Aston Martin fellow Canadian? A rough one there for him. But nonetheless... A career-high qualifying effort. Let's keep it up into the Grand Prix. 
The beloved Suzuka had a couple of unplanned years away from the calendar, but it's now back where it belongs, at the heart of the Formula One season. Welcome along to the Japanese Grand Prix. We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at the unique figure of eight Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here with average speeds approaching 136 miles per hour. DRS will be available, of course, into the potential passing opportunity at turn one, although the best place for overtaking will be through 130R and into the final chicane. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Leclerc, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Ocon, Ackerman, Golden Boy, Butler, Stroll, Norris, Bottas, Albon, Ricardo, Sonoda and Nico Hülkenberg rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So we're ready to go racing and we are going to be on the one stop today from the hards to the mediums. Two stop is a possibility, but I just don't see it working out as we get ready to roll. The formation lap gets underway then and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions could affect the lifespan of the tyres. All right, Alex, good luck today. Focus on moving forward here. Yeah, thank you, James. Let's have a strong day, guys. Good luck to Gary as well. We're almost ready to start the race as the cars take their positions on the grid with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. OK, OK, great day yesterday. Let's keep it rolling into today. Good luck. Thank you, Mark. Uh, thank you, team. Yeah, let's have a good one. Yesterday was great, but obviously a, a lot of laps of racing today. So we'll pull up to the grid now and of course wondering uh not only what we can do but of course what can our teammate of alex salbon do like we mentioned already he comes into uh suzuka up to one compared to myself in the head-to-head -head for teammates now holkenberg took a grid penalty he starts at the back of the grid moving sonoda homeboy up into p19 behind his v-carb teammate of daniel ricardo then albon just in front of the pair of them as we're ready to go racing max verstappen is going to lead the field towards turn one it's a great start for myself but ocon blocks away we can't go anywhere verstappen under pressure immediately Immediately, but not enough. He's already clearing away from the Mercedes duo of Hamilton and Russell. There's Leclerc over Oscar Piastri, his teammate of Norris as well. Starts well down the order with a penalty, so he has some work to do here today in Suzuka. And you can see him sandwiched in just in front of myself, actually. I got overtaken by a couple of cars off the start, getting boxed in behind Esteban Ocon. Did me no favors in the first few corners, and I lost some ground, unfortunately, instead of gained anything. Verstappen in front, in coming. Command, of course, looking for redemption after the absolute disaster. Yeah, Australian Grand Prix for him in Melbourne. Albert Park just has not treated him well in the career mode or in real life as well. As I was actually making a big, bold move at the hairpin behind, uh, further down the grid, I should say, up the inside of Lando Norris. Unfortunately, it did not uh, turn into anything. I would not gain any positions out of that. Norris would stay ahead. Leclerc settling in in fourth position now as we'll go back on board. And you can see we're down to P15 after starting 13th. Butler, unfortunately, uh, in front of me. Lance Stroll, Norris, all of those guys now as we continue down this long straightaway. And now we're under pressure from Valtteri Bontas as we head towards 130R. He looks up the left side. Norris going for a move on Bontas' teammate, Butler. And you can see we keep it around the outside. Questionable track limit moment right there. But Norris gets through on Devin Butler. So Norris into P13 right off the bat, trying to work his way forward now as we'll see how quickly he can navigate his way through the grid. Here we go, ending lap one, a run on the back of the kick Sauber to the left side, a fellow rookie of the year competitor, contender I should say now, will be wheel to wheel in a turn one, neither of us left two young drivers going wheel to wheel for not the first time this season already, but we clear Butler and take the position now, we're on a mission to gain some of the ground we lost on the initial start, back into P14 now looking for at least one more spot to get us back into that 13th running position, but a great move right there around the outside, but uh, credit to Butler. Kept it clean, but certainly did not back out of it now, as you can see. 
Casper Ackerman locking up on the hairpin right on the nose of Lando Norris. That stacks them both up right to myself. Uh, Butler and Bontas all just behind. They are on the hard compound tires as well, but the guys in front of us, Ackerman and Norris, both on the mediums. And they are having a heck of a scrap here now as we come towards the end of lap three. Norris with a bit of a moment. We tag the back of the McLaren. No damage done to our wing, fortunately, and we continue on. But they should be able to, you know, run away from us, both being on the mediums. And, of course, my Williams being the worst first car on the grid, but we're relatively doing well, holding our own, keeping these guys within striking distance. Norris should get Ackerman right here. Ackerman tries to get up, keep it up the inside. Not going to be enough. Norris through into P12, and now Ackerman's going to be under pressure from myself. Here we go. He's going to have DRS, but we as well have the same. Not a lot of battery to use. We're already down to about 23%, so I'm trying to not drain it. As we show the nose, we're going to lift. It's not going to be enough into turn at number one. Now into turn two, Ackerman logs up on the apex. We hit him, and somehow no damage again. I hit the back of the horse. I don't think I've damaged though. It looks okay from what we see. Keep pushing. We continue on. Norris now in 12th. He's going to run away and I don't think we have enough pace really for any of the other cars in front of us. Our car is simply too slow uh, at this current point in the season. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all we're really going to be able to get today and now we just kind of have to hope for some luck. Maybe some good fortune uh, safety car, virtual safety car, anything that could allow us to have an opportunity to mix things up here uh, and sure enough as we come to lap seven uh, the guy is in front driving away Norris is four seconds ahead at this point now we have uh, kept Ackerman just out of DRS range he's 1.3 seconds back uh, Devin Butler uh, just behind as well by about two seconds here comes Daniel Ricardo actually into the pit so he's going for the two-stop strategy he started on the softs the only driver to start on the softs he'll come in and it'll be interesting to see it looks like yeah the hard the white stripe hard tires going on there so it be taking that and then maybe going to a medium uh, a little bit later on is my guess uh, but Devin Butler uh, would actually get past Casper Ackerman and start to run me down so those mediums on Ackerman's uh, Haas not quite working out and the hards uh, of course on Butler is working yellows in front of us that's Lando Norris Norris has had a run off the circuit maybe a potential spin we'll take a look here at the replay but Norris is absolutely fumbled behind stroll there it is he completely loses it under his own control 360 gets it back rolling as that was on developing Valtteri Bontas coming in as well he is doing the two-stop strategy so uh, two drivers have decided to two-stop it's Ricardo and Bontas we'll see how that works out for the pair of them now Ricardo with a bit of a slow start in his full-time return to Formula One racing now as Devin Butler is starting to put some pressure on myself as we come to lap 12 hitting 13 Charles Leclerc into the pits a little bit early a couple laps earlier than I expected he's going to be right behind us now as we head towards turns one and two. He was right in that top three, top four battle, and I think he's trying to undercut both Mercedes uh, to try and get second position here now, and he would quickly get up to the back of myself and Devin Butler, and he was losing patience very quickly. These two need to move or we're you hear what Leclerc says on the radio, these two need to move. Keep in mind, the Sauber kick is a part of the Ferrari pipeline, and then I myself am a part of the Ferrari Academy. We're just on loan to William, so basically two Ferrari uh, alliances right in front of Leclerc, still holding him up. Butler even throwing a defensive line, and I'm not doing any assistance either. What the f***? Get them out of the way. Okay, Gary, pit this lap, please. We need to get out of the way here box this lap one lap early you hear the call so we're actually going to pit one lap early to get out of the way from the Ferrari but the damage might already be done we have not done any favors to Leclerc as we're going to come into the pits now Butler stays on the track but Leclerc is going to breeze by him already so we head into uh, our box here it's going to be of course on to now the mediums to take us to the end of this Grand Prix and I really hope we did not screw over Leclerc there obviously Butler did him no favors either but I certainly didn't help the situation uh, as will exit back onto the racetrack currently p17 but i think we're going to cycle out p15 uh and then when ricardo and bontas make their second and final stops we'll go back into p13 so uh and you can see they're the two directly in front of us so it all makes sense about 6.3 seconds to bontas on the mediums ricardo on the hards 5.8 It'll be interesting to see which one of those two comes out on top of each other. I think it's going to be Valtteri Bottas, though, in the kick. Sauber now as Leclerc coming to lap 15. There it is. He's not going to be able to leapfrog Lewis Hamilton, so this is not going to work. Those guys, man. Okay, just to let you know, Ferrari is not happy about what happened there. 
they wanted to undercut the Mercedes. I mean, we got out of the way as quick as we could. I don't really know what else they wanted. Don't worry about it. Just keep racing, mate. Leclerc, angry, Ferrari angry with not only myself, but as well Devin Butler and, and mainly the team of Kick Sauber. Uh, yeah, uh, we might have some explaining to do. I don't know. I, I really don't think we did much wrong. Uh, we had to race for a position on Butler. Did we hold up Leclerc? Absolutely. Uh, but we pulled off one lap early. So, I don't know. I, I really don't know uh, what Ferrari wants out of us in that situation right there. I know, of course, we are a Ferrari Academy driver, um, but I, I don't think we did anything wrong. We still did help Leclerc at the end of the day. But we're going to go through the grid with 10 laps to go. 10 laps remain here in Suzuka. What a bounce back performance from Max Verstappen, who is in peak form today. Five seconds clear of Lewis Hamilton, and the gap continues to climb. Leclerc within two seconds of Lewis, but I think he's going to soon come under fire from George Russell here. Leclerc was furious on the radio just a few laps ago. Ted, what can you tell us? Yeah, guys, Ferrari pitted him a bit early in an attempt to give him a gap over both Mercedes. Instead, he came out behind Lewis and George is already breathing down his neck. Charles was quite understandably angry with the Sauber and Williams of Owen, uh, although I don't think they did anything wrong. They absolutely didn't. It's called racing. There is Ferrari relation with both drivers or cars, but that doesn't matter. It's early in the year. We're here to race. And there you see Lando Norris still seeking that first win. It's going to have to wait a bit longer after starting down the order than having a self-spin as well. Uh, a solid recovery drive into the top 10, however. Owen in P14 here, a solid run, but his pace hasn't been quite as fast as others on this second stint. He could find himself under pressure before it's over. Home driver Yuki Tsunoda could be all over him soon. Only time will tell. Let's see if Yuki can get to him. And there you have, through the grid, Ricardo at the back of the grid. He's made his final pit stop, Albon, down in P19. Not been a great day for him, uh, but for us, we've done a great job. However, as these laps are winding down, now less than 10 laps to go. We've gotten up to P13 because Bottas has also made his pit stop. And now here's Russell actually passing Leclerc uh, to do the more damage and put him down to fourth and off the podium completely. Hold on, Leclerc's going to try and fight it through 130R. He's on the hards compared to Russell's mediums. Into the final chicane, who's going to come out on top of it? It's easily going to be George Russell. Piastri, Perez, the following fifth and sixth. A pretty rough day for Perez now. But as these laps are winding, down. Look at the gap to Yuki Tsunoda and Casper Ackerman. We're losing time. The actual last place in R&D of this Williams is starting to show on this final run. I mean, we're on the medium compound tire and we're not even driving away from these guys. Now, it seemed like the medium did struggle a little bit on the first run. I mean, we were able to pass uh, and fight with some cars on mediums while we were on hard. So, Maybe it's a medium compound tire kind of thing, I'm not sure, but nonetheless, what is for sure is Yuki Tsunoda, who qualified 20th, started 19th, has worked his way up to 14th, and with now just a few laps to go, is pounding on the back wing of my Williams now and has a chance to go up to P13 before this race is over. We got to be careful with how we race Sonoda. This is a home Grand Prix for him. Of course, I don't want to be the guy that chucks him off into the gravel at his home race now. Uh, but as we come to three laps to go, Verstappen running away with victory over the pair of Mercedes. Sonoda trying to put some pressure in the V-carb on the back of my Williams as we go through the double sweeping right-handers of turns one and two as we slip and slide a little bit on the exit at the corner now trying to find any little bit of grip we can this is our bread and butter quarter corner right here we gain so much time out of this hairpin we're able to just get hard on the gas but Sonoda makes up the time quickly by the end of the lap he gets right to my bank wing again as we come to two laps to go Stroll has overtaken Ocon in these closing moments up into P11 now but we might be under pressure right here with two laps to go Sonoda in striking distance we try to break the slipstream now pull to the right pull back to the left he's going to be close. Is it going to go for a, mo a move? No. We stay through into P13 for now. Butler has gotten past Casper Ackerman. He's 1.7 seconds behind. He would close the gap to 1.2. I'm in defense mode at this point. We're not on offense. I'm just trying to keep Sonoda behind me. Strategically place his car if we have to now. Through the hairpin. We know this is like I said. Our bread and butter will open up the gap right here. There you see the gap visually open up. 
but then it visually closes by the end of the lap again. Sonoda is right there showing the nose. Final lap well underway for the Dutchman of Max Verstappen, who's looking for one heck of a rebound victory after the chaos and heartbreak in Australia now. Here comes Yuki Sonoda to start the final lap with DRS. We're nearly having nothing for him. Draining the battery. Sonoda goes through. He slows up early. We keep it around the outside. We clear him, but we leave the inside lane open. It's going to be wheel to wheel on the final lap with the home driver now through sector one through the iconic guesses of the Suzuka circuit. One of the most iconic tracks in Formula One. And we get to go at it with the driver. That looks to make the home crowd excited on this final lap now as we continue side by side. But Sonoda is going to have the grip. He's got the power and he's going to go through wheel to wheel. Clear. Sonoda takes the position as that's happening. Max Verstappen comes through to win the Japanese Grand Prix. Simply lovely. Thank you guys. Good bounce back weekend. Verstappen second win on the season Sonoda driving away we slip and slide it's not over for us now we've drained our battery and here comes Devin Butler with a huge run towards 130R it's not even close he breezes by we keep the battery on overtake it's at 0% now as we head towards the final chicane we drop to P15 and Butler locks it up on the apex we hit the back of him no damage again Ackerman Albon just behind what a drive from Albon to get back up to us but thankfully the end is right here P15, we were hanging on for our life in those final 10 laps of the Japanese Grand Prix. I have no idea where the pace went, guys. P15, honestly, we'll take it. <laughs> Another couple laps, it would have been way worse. 15th and 17th for the team. Good stuff, Gary. That's it then for another fantastic Grand Prix here in Japan. A brilliant victory that has thoroughly earned the applause of the sellout crowd here today. What a race, honestly. Um, you know, I mean, the beginning had a little bit of action uh, on the opening lap. And, uh, of course, the uh, controversy with Ferrari there that we're definitely going to have to kind of sort out going into Miami next episode. And then, of course, the Lando self-spin. And, uh, and then, of course, that fight at the end. I mean, we just had no pace at the end. I don't know where it went. The mediums just weren't working. But Butler ran me down on medium, so... Maybe it was just me. I don't know. I, I just had no pace in that final uh, run, which was really bizarre, really bizarre, really frustrating, uh, to say the least. I'm just glad that we got out of there, honestly, with P15. And uh, Albon was, as well, within a second of us by the end. So that was getting really interesting. Nonetheless, um, it's over, and it worked out. The Mercedes, uh, both drivers, Hamilton and Russell, on the podium uh, to end it here in Suzuka as well, uh, joining Verstappen there at the top step. And, of course, that's great for them and the constructors. We'll take a look at the standings here uh, in, in just a moment. Alonso, P9. Gasly, P10, gets a single point for Alpine. Norris, P8, while his teammate of Piastri, top five. Perez down in P6. Ricardo last. Hulkenberg just in front of him. Uh, the two stops got 18th and 20th. In the standings, Verstappen's back out in front. Four points over Leclerc, 14 over Perez. Still no points for Williams. We're trying to change it. Hopefully that's coming soon. We'll take a look at the constructors to end it. Red Bull ahead by 24 over a closing Mercedes Ferrari back by 37. I'll see you guys in the next one from Miami. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.